A Florida resident provided a devastating first-hand look at hard-hit Cedar Key Friday morning after parts of the town were flattened by Hurricane Helene. After spending the night riding out the storm and checking in on his neighbors, Michael Presley Bobbitt, 48, woke to find his town of Cedar Key littered with debris with rows of houses gone, a gaping hole clear through his post office and the wall to his local mom-and-pop supermarket missing. The scenes we're seeing around the island, entire houses are missing or flattened in on themselves. The hardware store is gone, Bobbitt said. It's hard to take in. However bad we imagined it would be when we were fighting this thing in the darkness, it's so much worse in the daylight, he added. Despite orders to evacuate, Bobbitt, who has lived in Cedar Key for five years, said he stayed behind to help out those who could not leave with his rescue boat and document the storm. This recovery will be measured in years and years, not months. And I suspect we will see a mass exodus from the island. We're going to find out who really loves Cedar Key friends. It's unbelievable, Bobbitt said. Godspeed, Cedar Key. That building there is going to come apart. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Say a prayer, friends. Oh my gosh, get back out of the ground. Godspeed, Cedar Key. This is uh, Widden heading down the Gulf. I was trying to make it to my mama's house, but it's neck deep here. I'm not able to get any further. Oh man. Uh, this is a deep little spot. It's possible it's not quite as bad on golf, but I just don't know. I don't know. This is the museum. Oh no. It's chest deep here now. Oh no, the water's made it in the museum. I might not be able to go much further. It's about to be over my head. I just saw a car wash down this road. Nope, that's somebody's porch. After the most punishing night any of us could ever have imagined, the morning is breaking bright and beautiful, which is a cruel irony for the scenes we're seeing around the island. Entire houses are missing or flattened in on themselves. The hard store is gone. The downtown jiffy completely destroyed. The post office destroyed. Brian's big deck is gone. It's hard to take in. However bad we imagined it would be when we were fighting this thing in the darkness, it's so much worse in the daylight. This recovery will be measured in years and years, not months. And I suspect we will see a mass exodus from the island. We're going to find out who really loves Cedar Key, friends. It's unbelievable. Godspeed, Cedar Key.